I made a fool of myself again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time, I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. It's gonna be all right. You really think so? Things will turn around. They always do. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch, I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. Do they see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm-hmm. Okay, girl.
Don't you test me! What the hell do you want from me? Hey, think about this. Dang, this shit ain't for me. Yeah. Come on. Waltzing through here like you own the place. But the O'Driscoll's got designs on it. Look at you. Another coward trying to play it tough. You looking to prove something here? Run along. Your mama's expecting you home. You're done here! Should have stayed home, oh. have I? Uh, it's a bit to so try me, again! <laughs> May you be a lesson to anyone else that comes at the O'Driscolls! Let's go! Someone gonna help a fella out. Somebody, please. Hey, partner. Hey, brother. Can I get a buck, mister? Sure. Thank you. Oh, thank you, mister. Move already. Careful now. You and me again, girl. Hello, sir. Yeah, I heard that too. Good to see you again, partner. What can I do for you? You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. Smart addition. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving.
It doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Now, I've had my fair share of big nights in Smithfields, but a lot of fellers doing a can-can? That's a first. So long. My landlady's damn bank closed shop and ran off with her money. She aims to raise around <laughs> up for Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Come on, girl.
wrong with you all? There's a girl. Good girl. There, girl. Easy there. There.
There we go. It's all right, girl. You'll be all right. Shall have safety. Shall have safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and, and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur. Just come and speak with Mary. Then make up your mind. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help. Damn it, we got to do this the hard way.
Luther. I didn't ask for your help. Just hold up a minute. I was doing just fine by myself. Just stop and let's talk about this. You pop up out of nowhere? Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. This is none of your damn business. You little jackass. Sorry, mister. You there. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! Yeah. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you! I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't know who I am! Hey, what is this? I'm a man now. I, I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. Okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. 
Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, a nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. You just asked me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for him. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. You OK, boy? Did good, girl. Make it quick or I might run off again. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall.